hello there. So today I'm gonna do a haul, which is the first haul I've done in three years. So I have three years worth of stuff to show you. I'm just kidding. But I do have quite a bit of stuff because my dog wants to sit in my lap. The first thing I bought was a puppy. This is my dog, pop, pop, puppy. And she wants to sit on my lap because I'm sitting on my stool. But she might do this for the whole of the video. Let's hope not. So, I have bought quite a lot of stuff lately. Um, mainly because I've been a bit sad. The best way of cheering yourself up is to buy things. Put yourself in debt. You know, when you're feeling really crappy and you're just browsing online and you're like, that's going to make me feel better for two minutes. So, here's some stuff I bought, basically. Now I'm going to try and do a try on thing, if not I apologise for teasing you, but hopefully if I just try and, eh, you know. But the first thing I got is a little t-shirt. This is from H&M and it's just like a shirt with some kind of like Victorian-esque frilly things on which I thought was quite nice like tuck it into something or just have it open or layer it over like a plain t-shirt and that was £20 and I got it in a size 16 because I find with H&M clothing that their sizes are very small so I'm kind of a 10 to a 12 like it depends how much chocolate I've had that day but I tend to oversize with their jeans and t-shirts in H&M. Another H&M purchase is this jumper. Um, I've took the tag of this I think it m must be like 20 quid or something as well. It's a high neck kind of jumper um, with some cut out sleeves. Oh it's inside out. With some cut out sleeves kind of go in here and it's kind of a ribbed material there you go you can see a bit better now I just thought that would be good for winter spray mug great these were eight pounds and these are probably a very controversial piece of clothing but I just liked them and I don't really know why but they're like a rose gold kind of velvet like crushed velvet legging and I don't know, there's just something, like they're so soft, <laughs> there's just something about them which I liked, I was like, I'm going to wear them every day. Probably not. Underwear. Now, we all wear bras, well we don't all, some guys might, some guys might not, but we all wear underwear, so I'll show you it anyway. So this is like a bralette type thing. From Primark. I took the price off, I can't remember how much it was, must have been, um, must have been about like a tenner or something. Um, so yeah, it's just like a lacy kind of like bralette thing. It has like padding inside so your boobies stay in. But I thought it'd be really useful for, you know when you have dresses and things and they've got like backless bits? So it doesn't really show the straps. So I thought it would be pretty handy and it looks pretty. Bra number two. This one I have left the price tag on. Four pounds. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good for four pounds. I'll do it up. So this is like a bralette as well. Non, a non-wired one just like padding. It's got a nice long bralette bit at the bottom which is kind of shaped and it also has a cross back so that you can't see straps with certain things, which is useful. And yeah, it's kind of pretty. It reminds me of like, you know, like belly dancer type thing. So who knows if I get bored one day. More Primark stuff. I'm very excited for next week. Does anybody know why? No, well on Friday, I'm gonna go see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Ah! And if anybody knows me, I am a super, super, super big Harry Potter fan. I absolutely love it. It's like something I just grown up with. I think most people my age have. 
and I'm very excited that there's going to be some more films which aren't Harry Potter but it's his world still um, and I really like who's going to be the main character in it as well so I'm excited about that and I'm going to go see it with my mum because it's a tradition that we go and see like all the old Harry Potter movies each year that they came out together and now we're going to go see it on Friday so in preparation not that I'm going to wear it to the cinema or could I hmm no I'm not going to but I got some pajamas which they had in Primark for the Fantastic Beast film so it says Fantastic Beasts on them and it has well I don't know what's happening in the film yet so I'm not really sure what these are but they're like astrology type symbols on them and they've just got like a cuffed bottom on it but I thought I could wear it on the Thursday night in preparation for Friday and wear it on the Friday night as well because I'm sad like that. Also came with a top which was, oh how much were the bottoms? I forgot to mention, the bottoms were £8 and the top was £5. So this is the top, I got this in an extra large because I like to be super comfy and I find that sometimes like Primark pyjamas and the clothes and things they can shrink or maybe I just gain weight but I find that they shrink um, but this is the top and it just says wanted what does it say wanted and extremely dangerous fantastic beasts and it has like a little witch on the bottom I especially love this I think that's so cool I could just imagine that being me with my wand which I do not own but oh actually I picked this up in a medium I thought I got it in an extra large. No, nope, it's in a medium, folks. Uh, it's just quite oversized. So yes, I shall be wearing them on Friday. I'm so excited! Another item from H&M, which I actually forgot to show you, is a Halloween item. Now, Halloween has been and gone. I'm afraid I didn't do many videos over Halloween because I was ill, so I apologise about that. But a plus side of going after shopping after Halloween is everything goes on sale which everyone's already bought for costumes so this would have been £30 I took the label out because I've worn it um, and it was down to £7 I was just like yes that is mine I also tried on a Wonder Woman kind of costume thing and that was £7 and I was so tempted I was like Tiff's up, when are you going to wear this? I could do a cosplay video, but I'd rather just make it or something. So, if it goes to £3, perhaps. But yeah, this is, if I zip it up, a onesie boiler suit type thing. Um, I've just been wearing it as a onesie at home. Like, you could wear it out, but I don't think I will. So it's just like long, with like cuffed bottoms. Um, with a hood and the main bit is these and they glow in the dark they actually do like I can't show it right now I could turn no it's daylight ignore me but yeah these glow in the dark and you get peace boobs mm -hmm. so it's just super comfy and a bit of Halloween every day Halloween is every day for me. Okay, new look. So, this I absolutely love. This was £25, well, £24.99. But what's a penny between friends? Um, this super cute dress. Ah! How sparkly. This reminds me of when I was a child. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me to go to. Um, this little shop what was in my my hometown and every time we used to go to Butlins or somewhere for Christmas like or Great Armour as we did he used to take me there to get some sparkly Christmas dresses and now I have one being grown up so it's like a skater dress with a 90s style high neck um, front and kind of a lower back 
and you can actually like not wear a bra with this so that's handy because these are quite awkward shapes to kind of wear underwear with um, but it's just super sparkly and I thought this would be great for Christmas if I went to go see Fantastic Beasts and I wanted to feel extra magical New Year all those kind of wintry goodness events so that was that next up is some jeans farm new look again and these were free no oh, 24 .99. and they're just the skinny jeans I usually get the super high-waisted ones and I didn't think I'd fit my bum in these but I got a 12 and I still fit in these surprisingly because they're not as stretchy as the other ones um, so these are just the skinny jeans and they're just like a, a grey dark grey with some zips on the pockets um, and just like a normal straight leg and yeah just for everyday comfort and also because my other jeans they're quite thin now that it's getting a bit colder um, you kind of want a thicker jean because if it starts snowing or something these will keep you warm but the other ones you still feel a bit chilly another purchase was a um, bit of a older purchase I think I got these sometime in October and these are off of ASOS and I actually had to send them back and get a new size because um, I'm a size 7 usually but they were falling off my feet so I had to get a size 6 which fit perfectly and they are panda shoes now another controversial piece I'm sure but I just loved them as people know I'm obsessed with Japan and kawaii and Japanesey panda I like pandas okay and I wanted pandas on my shoes so I did and they have like a fluffy little pom-pom on the back I might tie like try and sew these on a bit because I'm scared I'm gonna wear them and they're gonna fall off they are sewn on but uh, I don't trust them but yeah they just got like they're not leather they're just like fake like a leather um, with little floppy ears and they're just all white yeah I don't really know what I'm gonna wear them with but I'll wear them I'm sure I'll wear them hopefully I might wear them for Hyper Japan um, I'm going to the Hyper Japan Christmas market so I might wear these with some like knee-high socks and a skirt or something if it's not too cold so I was very excited about them I think they must have been about 25 pounds so a little bit expensive for like a novelty pair of shoes really okay so if I've changed position slightly I apologize I just had to grab some stuff real quick which I forgot to include so next one is from Primark and this was about four pounds and it's just a silver silvery purpley little coin purse um, so you can fit quite a few things in there the reason I got this was for my conventions and things that I go to such as Hyper Japan, Comic Con, all of them type things or if I go to London I can put my card in there if I need to get so I don't have to take my whole purse I can take my card I can put money in here because at conventions I don't really like pay with card or anything a lot of stores don't accept it so it's easier to store money in here my train card so I don't forget them because I can't see getting them out to go on the tube and things I just thought it would be a lot easier than going into my backpack every 10 seconds so it's got like a thing to hold on to and I don't think people would really want to steal it because they'd be like what the hell is that fluffy thing I just liked it it was cute it has eyes as well some other pajamas from Primark I forgot because I'm currently uh, wearing them not now but at night and there's a bit of a doodar on them which you'll see in a second but these are some more pajamas I got these in an extra large not the other ones um, 
because I thought I'd get it extra comfy and you can see the doodah on it. So it's just got a velvety bear on and it says grizzly in the morning which is very true because I get up at half four in the morning so I'm not that happy as bunny. Um, this is makeup. Not blood. Or anything like I haven't been killing people. Um, that's makeup. I was testing some makeup products on my arm all up here and uh, I forgot that it might stain. Hopefully that washes out but yeah they're cute. <laughs> and they also came with some bottoms. I think these must have been like five pounds or something like the top and the bottoms. Uh, obviously I've took the tag off and these are just matching bottoms with a little bear and they're just cuffed leggings. So just super comfy and I just needed some new pyjamas for winter time because it's getting cold when you get out of bed now. Next items, not very exciting but they are some things I have bought. Um, I have joined a new gym. I um, joined a gym which has a store which is like the same company above it and when you join you get a £25 off voucher which is very handy because I indeed needed some new stuff. Um, my old gym didn't have a swimming pool. I used to go to um, a hotel gym and that had a swimming pool. Um, it wasn't great but it was a pool and this one has a very nice pool and obviously I haven't swam in four years because my last gym was just a normal gym. Um, I needed some swimming costumes for when I go swimming. So I got these ones, these are by Speedo. This is a tankini, I've never owned a tankini but they are quite useful. Um, so yeah, and this would have been £23. These were like in the sale as well as me having my voucher. So that's the top and then it comes with some like navy bottoms as well. I mean these look so tiny, I'm surprised I can fit in these but I have tried them on, they do fit a little tight but sometimes they go baggy like when you swim a lot. Um, yeah. And just some, I got dust on them, lovely. And just some navy shorts to go with them and I just got another pair, not another pair, another swimsuit to go with my tankini if I don't want to wear um, a two piece. And this was, uh, I took the label off, but I think this was about 30, 30 pounds, because you had to spend 50 to get the 25 off. And this is just, um, I think it's one of those shape ones, so like slimming, and it's useful because it actually has adjustable straps for the girls with their bigger boobies. So that is quite handy. But yes. It's quite retro and pin-up, which I love, so that would be great for swimming. Next is just an item I got off eBay, and that is Super Fight. It is the Super Fight Loot Crate deck. So this is specially for Loot Crate. Um, I am not signed up to Loot Crate, so my friends, some of my friends are, um, and I know they have things like this in it. And I played this with my friends, and I thought it was a really cool game. Um, Kind of nerdy, it's basically you have these cards um, that have um, people like from comic books, films, whatever, like people on it and then you'll have your power and you pick them and then the deck card giver person, deck holder person, and then the other guy that has the other cards does like the situation and where you are type thing and then basically two people or however many people have to fight and you have to discuss who would win that fight so if King Kong had a piranha launcher and you're on a desert island and it was against Wonder Woman who had her eyes in the back of her head who's gonna win you decide so the last things are just some things I got from Comic-Con I was going to do a haul um, especially for Comic Con um, but I decided not to because I got very ill and I couldn't be on camera. I ate most of the stuff which I bought so I'll just show you some 
empty bag. Um, I've had a Tokey Dokey crown. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was just given for free and it was just a Tokey Dokey crown which they give out on their stool which I thought was cute because I do love that brand. One thing I did buy from Tofu Cute was a Pocky Pen. I haven't even took it out of the wrapper yet, unlike the actual Pockies. Um, but yeah, it's just a matcha version of a Pocky Stick and in pen form. And I just thought that was cute and handy for when I'm doing my organising. The other stuff in this bag is disappeared, but I have one wrapper left. This is a Custard Doriyaki. And uh, they are very tasty. You can get it from the Japan Center store, which is at um, most conventions now, which involve any Japan culture in it. And they do a deal, I think it's five or five pounds or something, or six pounds, so it's about a pound each. And uh, you can get chocolate, lemon cheesecake, uh, strawberry, custard, lemon custard, green tea, and they're just like amazing they taste awesome and low in calories too so this is the shameful moment this is my tofu cute bag of wrappers so i got these um meiji takenoko no sato matcha milk choco biscuit i don't know if i pronounced that right i don't actually know the names of candy yet but yes they're basically little biscuits with matcha flavoured chocolate on top of them. They are delicious. This was also delicious. <laughs> this is so shameful. This is also delicious. This is a panda wafer thing. It's like wafer with like aero type chocolate inside of it. Um, tasty too. These are my ultimate fave. Ooh, those wrappers going everywhere. Kenoko uh, Koko. Don't know what accent that was actually. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're called. They must be by Meiji again. And they're like little biscuits with chocolate toast balls on, and they are some of my favourite of the Japanese candy. These I've never tried before of the empty packet. Um, Kalipipo Kaplikoko. I don't know how to pronounce that, but these are really nice. You got twelve pieces, and they're like little moussey chocolates, um, strawberry and vanilla flavor. Kit Kats. Now, I find how expensive Kit Kats are in this country, like the Japanese versions, is ridiculous. Now, some of these are like. A fiver sometimes each or three pounds each. I think I got one, two, three, four, fiver um, at I think it was Tofu Cute, so it wasn't as bad. But look how tiny they are. And when you go to Japan and you buy them, they're all like 20p or something ridiculous. So it does make me feel like oh, I don't want to pay that when I know how cheap they are in Japan. But I wanted to try some, and this is the Halloween edition. I'm going to keep the wrapper for some of these things because I'm a weird hoarder like that. But this was the Halloween pumpkin edition Kit Kat, and it was okay. I wasn't a big fan of that one. Another empty wrapper of a Kit Kat is I think this was just the green tea matcha Kit Kat. I think. Um, yeah, just a normal green tea one, which just tastes like all the rest of the green tea chocolate. Um, delicious. The Kit Kat wrapper is a Ichigo Kit Kat. Um, so that is a strawberry one. Um, very sweet. But I find that Japanese candy is almost like flowery, like perfumey. Um, it's very sweet and very intense. So I understand why they're little because it's enough. I also got this was one ninety nine. And if anybody plays or watches Yokai Watch, you will know this is Jibanyan. And it's just a just a crispy thing. It's a bit like the panda biscuit. Um, 
so it's like kind of a wafer with the aero chocolate in the middle and that's super tasty. I want to keep this because I like Yoko Watch. Yoko, Yoko, Yoko Watch. One ninety nine. This just it's just getting worse as we get through <laughs> as we get through the packaging. This is Meiji or Polo. I don't know if that's what it's called. Like I should learn the names of these things. Obviously, you know Poppy, but these are just little chocolates. They're like little um, milk chocolate with strawberry on, just like tiny little things, and they're very yummy. And those little bits were from a store called Something Japanese, and they gave you this, which was very cool. And uh, it had the hiragana and the katakana um, characters in it, which is awesome so you know and if you want to practice writing them and also on the back it said our favorite Japanese phrases which I found very entertaining so it'd be like I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right because I I'm only trying to like start learning Facebook yatoru. do you have Facebook was yoko ga suki desu I love Japanese food kawaii cute as we know Arigato, thank you. Sumimasen, excuse me. Matta ni, see you later. Tokyo is awesome, I think. Kakyo is cool. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these uh, right, but I thought that was a really cool idea for a company to put that in with like the candy and everything because sometimes it's hard to try and learn languages and find fun ways of doing it so I thought that was pretty awesome right that is the end of my haul <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed seeing some little things I got this was just an improv -y type video just because I haven't been on for a while um so I thought I'd show you some things from comic-con because obviously I didn't do my video from that and just some bits I've been buying myself at the minute I'm Hoping my next video will be Hyper Japan Christmas Market, which is on the 26th of November. That is the day I'm going on a Saturday. So if anyone's there who would like to come say hi and have a conversation with me, not that you know who I am, but like I want to make some new friends who are into the same things I am, that would be awesome. So just leave a message down there. Hope you're all well, and I shall see you very soon. See you later. Uh, bye bye.